up. To sell a transport airplane, there is no real need to perform flight displays. The airline's potential customers are more interested in performance, such as fuel burn, range, takeoff distances, and also purchasing costs and maintenance, etc., rather than maneuvering capabilities. Airbus takes part in air shows as it is a good opportunity to meet airline representatives. Many people in the public like to see large airplanes performing maneuvers in a confined area. Among them there are also travelers, therefore indirect customers of the aircraft manufacturer. Performing flight displays allows Airbus to satisfy these people, but also those who have participated in the design and the production of the plane and who can be proud of the final product. There are several rules to be followed to achieve a good flight display. Obviously, do not take any risk with the maneuvers. Perform them in a volume as small as possible to remain permanently close to the spectators. Therefore, the speed should be low with flaps deflected. The center of the presentation should be facing the crowd. Do not fly too low as the spectators might be afraid. Try to maneuver constantly avoiding long straight trajectories, except in specific cases such as flyby at very low speed. Do not repeat maneuvers. The crew must be aware of the immediate environment, as for some air shows there are lines that must not be crossed. For example, at the Paris air show at Le Bourget, there is a line parallel to Paris Charles de Gaulle runways which is an absolute limit not to be crossed to avoid disrupting air traffic. Similar displays are performed with all Airbus airplanes except the A400M. However, the profiles need to be adapted to cope with airplane characteristics, various constraints due to the local environment, the position of the spectators as regards rotation at takeoff and wind direction and force. To have good takeoff and climbing performances, the fuel quantity is maintained at a minimum level to allow several presentations and a diversion if necessary. All the systems are prepared and the engines are started 20 minutes before the show. It is more than enough for the taxi to the holding point but it gives enough time to take care of any last-minute anomaly. Whenever possible, for takeoff, the brake's release point is chosen to perform the rotation just in front of the spectators. The target is to reach the maximum pitch attitude, which is set at 30 degrees if the speed is sufficient. As it is not possible to maintain 30 degrees because the speed decreases quickly, after one or two seconds stabilization, a turn is engaged away from the crowd. The aim is to come back parallel to the line of spectators. The maneuver depends on how the spectators are placed. When just in front of the crowd, a 360 degree turn is performed with 45 degrees bank. The first part is in climb with maximum thrust. After 180 degrees turn, the engines are set to idle and the airplane descends back to the initial altitude. 
This turn should remain properly centered for the spectators. Therefore, the bank angle is increased when downwind and decreased when facing the wind. A maneuver is performed at low altitude to position for a flyby parallel to the line of spectators with maximum angle of attack. To obtain minimum ground speed, it is carried out facing the wind. While the minimum altitude for air displays is usually 500 feet, maneuvers are performed at 800 to 1000 feet on very large airplanes so as not to frighten the crowd. When passing just in front of spectators, maximum thrust is set. The pilot lets the pitch attitude increase full back stick. As soon as the aircraft is stable, the pilot moves the stick to the corner to engage a steep tight turn in climb. The turn is stopped after 180 degrees parallel to the crowd. When stabilized at the end of the turn, simultaneously the stick is pushed full forward, engines are set to idle and the landing gear extended. The load factor is around 0.2 g until the minimum pitch down attitude of minus 15 degrees is reached. As soon as the airplane is stable, nose down, the aircraft is positioned for landing. The total duration of the demonstration from brakes release to runway vacated is between six to seven minutes, depending on aircraft type and variants of the profile. For some phases of the manoeuvres, the pilot flying cannot see the line of spectators, but the co-pilot can and guides the pilot for the manoeuvres. The pilot flying monitors speed and altitude. Then when the pilot is in sight of the line, he or she manoeuvres the airplane to be in the right position. In the meantime, the co-pilot monitors speed and altitude and warns the pilot if they are not within the agreed tolerances. On some airplane models, the low pass is performed at a speed lower than the minimum control speed. Therefore, when setting maximum thrust at the end of the flyby, in case of an engine failure, there is a risk of loss of control. During this critical phase, the test flight engineer on the jump seat monitors the engines carefully. If a failure is detected, he reduces the thrust of the symmetrical engine, as determined in the simulator. It allows control of the plane to be maintained. There is no performance issue as the aircraft is very light. Fly-by-wire with hard protections allows impressive maneuvers to be performed in flight displays that would not be possible without these protections.